Hi, let me know how to draw the hexagonal board in Creo 4.0 by using helical sweep command. This one is a given drawing for hexagonal board, and this one is the outer diameter. This is the minor diameter of the thread, and this is the length of the thread. Uh, this, uh, this one is hexagonal head, and the head diameter is 1.5d plus 3mm. Let me do this. Going for new part and solid. Let's choose the dimensions units. Draw the rod diameter I'm choosing diameter 20 mm M20 bolt and length of the bolt is 100 mm the head should come here on end for drawing the head I am going for use I am going to use the palette in palette we can get the various uh, templates for triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon and number of uh, templates is here for our purpose we need the six side hexagon and click it and drop it here it will come automatically while using the uh, palette you have to check out whether the axis are coincide or not if not coincide just drag it and keep it in center place and change the value our hexagon diameter is 1.5d our diameter is uh, 20 mm uh, so 1.5 mean 5d mean 15 plus 3 18 mm I'll go for X2 and uh, hit X one point five so fifteen mm one point fifteen mm yeah now our bolt uh, head and uh, core is ready we have to chamber the hexagonal head end and the this end also because the hexagonal end should be chamfered for uh, avoiding the injuries and this end should be chamfered for easy engagement and disengagement of a uh, nut for that we, ha we have to chamfer these two ends I am moving for uh, chamfering so for front view Go for front view and sketch. Yeah. See this drawing. The chamfer should be 0.1D into 45 degree. Our diameter is uh, 20 mm, so 20 into 0.12 mm. I have to chamfer here. For that, I am moving the line. I'll go for reval. Yeah, we have jungle design. Same this external end.
draw the center line take the line and go for wall yeah now uh, we have chamfered both ends next one we have to make the thread here here we are going to use the helical sweep command see this for making the thread I am moving for the front view sketch for helical sweep first draw the center line based on this center line you are going to do the helical sweep then draw the line from here how much length uh, you need to sweep just click it and apply yeah now I am moving for the helical sweep see this I have drawn the line here this line indicates this much length you are going to do the thread Yeah. Now you have to draw the profile of thread here. Our picture indicates the thread uh, minor diameter is 0.90, that is 18 mm. So the depth of the thread is 1 mm here and 1 mm here. Go for line. I am going to draw the V thread the angle of V thread is 60 degree and which is depth is 1 mm and apply it and move for cut I have made the thread. The distance is too much. That is, uh, which is different, very different. You can vary the pitch here. For example, the pitch is seven mm. I can vary this. How much pitch you need, you can vary. and this one is left hand thread and this one is right hand thread and you can make the hollow here and apply it Now our bolt is ready. Yeah, this area is called as a tank. In this, uh, normally we will do the uh, bolt with diameter of the tank and core diameter are the same. Because suppose uh, you are going to use the bolt uh, in shock loading area, that in that situation you can reduce this tank diameter because if you reduce the chunk diameter that will increase the shock absorbing capacity 
uh, in other area you can make the core diameter chunk diameter as same if you make this core diameter and chunk diameter same it will increase the efficiency of this bolt the life will be increased and this end we will not chamfer here because it will it will on the washer to give the gripness we didn't chamfer this end so this way you can make the internal thread in nut now our m20 bolt is ready all the best do it thank you